local, authentic Guyanese culinary delights. So we had Backyard Cafe, as you know, owned by Delvin Adams, and he did his, you know, extravaganza for the last two days, doing the plantain, plantain base, or was it plantain rice, a substitute for rice, really, uh, blend it, um, and you could add various vegetables, if you like, and, and sauces, if you may, and it's quite delicious. When people eat, I know Guyanese like to eat, particularly me, we, I, I like to eat and, and, and feel full. The plantain is filling, all right, it's filling. And um, we had um, persons from all walks of society uh, sampling it and the reviews are really, really good. Good to excellent. Chef Kester Robinson. Kester Robinson, he has a knack for creativity and innovation in the kitchen. So just yesterday, he made the Varmazelli rice ice cream. So when you're able to bring that nostalgia, persons are one surprised because of the flavor and what it's been able to make and um, they're excited but it, of course it comes down to the taste and as somebody said just now um, I'm here for somebody told me there's something here to die for so my sister told her we definitely have something but you're not gonna die <laughs> so you know persons have been responding really well like we've had to make more and more and more so that's great for me um, you know the singing uh, chef show and uh, he's here doing the signature cassava bread pizza right and from the comments and reviews it's been a hit it's been a hit is you've got little cassava breads with our sauce with some sweet corn some local sweet red peppers and some local fresh pineapple with some cheese on the top and then we just put it in the frying pan let the cheese melt and it's crispy and delicious. It's been a huge hit at this show, which I think this show has been amazing. It's been great for all the people of the world who come over to experience Guyanese food and Guyanese produce and just see the amazing array that we have. Very interesting angles um, for this, utilizing again, you know, indigenous afro indocentric centric um, base foods, but putting a twist on it. That's what we're doing, right? Um, so all the ethnicities, we're trying to make a blend of that. We also have here a chocolatier, a local chocolatier, um, Andrew Campbell, who's doing that. And he sources his, you know, cocoa bars from the indigenous community of Hosororo in region one. We need to create value. So for the refinement and development of these menus, so that they can become mainstream. So look, mainstreaming local products, that's what we need to do. So like I said, getting it into the restaurants, ensuring that the visitors have access. A lot of persons have been commenting, how can I get the cassava bread? Who makes it? Is there a restaurant that I can go to? But currently, you know, Ian has the recipe and he does it on his Singing Chef productions, but he's willing, he's willing and able to take that at scale right, for all the persons, all the restaurants who would like to add this. And, you know, what I'd like to appeal for is for restaurants to start utilizing more local products. In here, in the auditorium, we have several um, local products that can make it at hotels and, and restaurants. So the travel economy experiences the local.